A lot of hope for the future following the Derek Chauvin verdict last week. So we wanted to know what kind of beliefs our community holds for change. Our Leah Lynchide and photojournalist Brian Mesmer went out and asked. I believe if this is only a step in the right direction. Things seem to be heading in the right direction in some small steps. I think that there's so much more that needs to be done, so many more people that need to be held accountable, and this is just one way that someone was held accountable. Something be is being done, you know, so it feels good. <laughs> I was here when everything was happening with, um, when it first happened, so I saw it, like everything happening on stage. I live right off State Street, so I mean the tear gas is like leaking in down the street and whatnot. So I saw it all, and like I like even just being like two blocks away, I could feel the tear gas in like my eyes and my throat and whatnot. It's so much us versus them. It's not, it's not you and me. It's you versus me. Uh, and with the trial, we see you know the worst of humanity, and whether it's what happened originally or all the violence that erupted afterwards. Did you watch the trial? Um, some of it, yeah, not all of it though. It was a bad trial though. Yeah, yeah definitely. Heavy. I'm actually from the Twin Cities. Find the defendant guilty. I had a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings. It was very kind of relieving yesterday. I watched the verdict come out like as it like as it happened, um, and so to see kind of like the city where I'm from kind of like exhale a little bit was very good. I mean, real justice is still coming, but um, yeah. It was, it was good. It's taxing. It's, you know, it's really hard for me to watch that. Uh, I couldn't even imagine what it's like for, you know, the black Americans all across the country that have had to deal with those injustices firsthand, having to see and rewatch the same video and he just hear, you know, the anguish um, that a lot of the community was feeling at the same time. I think it's just really, really difficult. I felt um, initial joy. I think, you know, I'd be reminisced to not say that I was, I was very happy with the decision, but then I remembered you know, that this is more accountability more than it is justice, um, and that there's still a lot of work to be done. I think it was great to see that, you know, we can still have faith in our institutions, and we can have faith that when you see something super egregious, there's actually going to be some recourse from it. I would hope it changes not only Madison, but Wisconsin. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. But right now, I think that in some ways, this was at least a small step in the right direction. It's very hopeful. Um, it gives me a lot of hope for like justice moving forward. Um, and I hope that we can, as a nation and as a city, like continue to heal um, and begin to start kind of moving toward a path for justice and equality, especially for people of color.